So uh, just to introduce myself, uh, if I haven't met you all before, my name is Omar Baldonado. I'm one of the project co-leads of the networking group. Um, can you introduce yourself? You work at Facebook during the day. I work at Facebook during the day as part of the networking group there. Um, have been there for about five years and been involved with OCP for the last five years, specifically in the networking group. And I'm Scott Emery, and uh, I'm the co-lead with Omar. Uh, in my day job, I work at Cumulus Networks, uh, engineering there. Uh, I've been involved in OCP since uh, probably about five and a half years. So uh, welcome to everybody. I was actually, um, Arshana asked, you know, who is new to, who had never come to a, an OCP workshop before. Um, it was pretty surprising to see that actually the number of hands that went up that had never been to one of the workshops. So uh, uh, glad to see um, more folks. And that's one of the, the big missions that we have uh, or objectives going forward is to have more, uh, more adoption, more people kind of um, understanding what we're doing and um, the mission that we have. So just to, to go over a little bit, um, as Arsha said, we have, uh, we all kind of start, if you go to our pages, you can see the charters of the different uh, groups. Um, if you've been part of the, the discussions over the, the past several months on the networking calls, uh, we mentioned that we wanted to start, uh, have a new charter, that the charter had not been updated since practically five years ago when the project started. And if you went back to that old charter, it said, we're only gonna focus on top of rack switches and no software, right? So this is clearly, uh, that was clearly out of date and we've expanded, uh, updated the charter. Uh, that went through a lot of review with the incubation committee of OCP and the board of OCP to understand, hey, how is networking project expanding or how has it expanded to really reflect uh, the community that we have. Uh, and it's um, a whole, it, Core, core to the philosophy is disaggregated, open, uh, rapid innovation uh, in the networking space. But now it's uh, across enterprise, uh, hyperscale, including service providers, campus branch, wireless, um, and, and certainly includes software, which is the focus of today. Um, just definitely reinforcing the, the message, go check out the, the wiki and um, the mailing list and, and, and join the calls, all the information is there, um, both uh, um, for the overall calls, but also how to get into the, the sub-project calls, which we're really covering today. So just as a way of status update, um, if you wanted to cover, yeah. cover this. So we've had um, a lot of uh, hardware interest to date. Uh, uh, the top there shows the um, the pieces of hardware, the designs that have been contributed by uh, member companies that got accepted. And so there's a whole process, a big checklist they have to go through uh, to have a design become accepted. And we really, really thank uh, Agma, EdgeCore, and SK uh, Telecom for their contributions that they went through that whole process to get their designs accepted by OCP. You can see uh, EdgeCore has a lot of um, access points that they contributed. And that's another thing that's sort of new that kind of grew out of this community. Um, that was not our focus originally and the charter didn't cover that. And that's another one of those things that this community wants to do something, wants to open up those wireless access points and um, Campus Branch Wireless a, a sub project was formed and they went after it. And this is one of the results is that we got all these uh, projects accept or all designs accepted. Uh, and then, of course, uh, we've had some contributions uh, this year. And so you can see these three contributions. Oops. What happened? Can you step a little Hardware. Careful. Hardware failure for your eyes. Oh, no, did it again. So, uh, <laughs> so we have these three uh, contributed hardware designs, and I, I presume and I expect um, S. We're, we're sort of on the cusp of a new wave of ASICs um, that will get a lot more designs uh, contributed uh, in the coming months uh, leading up to the next summit in March. Uh, as we get um, not only the feeds and speeds are going up, right? we've got 400 gig on the, on the horizon, but also uh, in advanced features, uh, these new ASICs. And... Um, 
So yeah, so, and if you look on that wiki page that Omar just put up, you'll see the whole list of all the designs over the years that have been accepted and all the ones that are in flight. And it's really cool. You can go in there and if you wanted to, you could bring up the schematics for those uh, submitted or accepted designs. You can see exactly how they were uh, designed. Uh, there's Gerber files. If you want to build your own, just take those and, and build your own switch or modify it and improve it. Um, so that's all there too. And of course, uh, we're not just doing hardware. Uh, and today, what today is really about is the software. And so we have, um, as you'll see today, a bunch of software projects that are in large scale production use around the world from the first touch that uh, a customer has on the switch with ONI uh, to operating system like ONL and uh, then the higher level software uh, that runs the switch ASICs with uh, Psy and, and Sonic. Um, also the Campus Branch Wireless, they've got software there too that um, uh, hopefully we can get some more traction on. Uh, we're looking for some improved uh, traction on Campus Branch and Wireless open source software. Um, again, if you have interest in any of these, obviously you do have some interest because you're here today, um, but sign up for the mailing lists um, and uh, get involved in those projects. We also have some software that's not part of the networking group, but we're sort of associated with. And for example, the, um, the firmware group that Archana showed earlier, that has um, uh, a lot of impact on the networking devices because networking devices have this open firmware or will have this open firmware in them. And then we have a, I don't know what you call it, but the Linux Foundation is sort of like a- Collaboration. Collaboration, sister organization. Uh, they do a lot of uh, uh, networking software also that we, we sort of uh, um, you know, work with them uh, on their software projects. And as I mentioned, um, today's focus is really on the, the software projects. So let's uh, just quickly wrapping up our section here in terms of introduction, you know, um, Looking forward for the OCP networking project, I think we really want to, we encourage if you are a, uh, an operator here, if you operate a large network or, or any network at all, um, please consider adoption of, of OCP hardware. It's been out there in production uh, for years and you can talk to different members of the community who have already deployed that hardware into their networks. Um, and we would really love to get more and more companies. Uh, I think we're, we're uh, we want to transition out of that kind of at the, the leading edge of people uh, adopting this hardware. There are many companies that are starting to put this out there. Um, it's, it's not just sort of this um, only for certain companies. And I, I think the maturity of the hardware as well as the software combined uh, has really come a long way. And so this is something that um, we, we should see a lot of uh, opportunities for adoption. Uh, if you're, um, if you're in, interested in software, definitely the purpose of the day, please engage in our communities. Uh, I, I see a lot of good stuff on the mailing lists, um, but uh, contribute and just lean in with, uh, with your community. Uh, we need you all for, for support there. And one of the things that, that goes along with adoption, uh, and Arshana mentioned this, we, we really want to, to encourage people to share their experiences. So if you're, if you're selling hardware or software, um, and you're working with uh, different customers who are deploying this, uh, or you're an operator who's using the hardware and, and maybe uh, writing your own software on top of it, we encourage you to contribute white papers, use cases, videos, whatever that talks about, even if you don't have a piece of hardware to install, if you can talk about how you took uh, OCP software and hardware into your network, we'd love to hear about that and share that with, with other members of the community. So logistics, I think we, we went over this, hopefully every, uh, everyone's in Wi-Fi. We were, we were just talking this morning, we're really happy uh, with Flex's hosting here because it's this classroom style. If you've been to other workshops before or the summits, it's your, your, your laptops are on your lap, literally, and here we have laptops on desks, which is, is, is just makes a, a, a long day like this you know, much, uh, much more productive, I think. Um, it's Wi-Fi password here, we've already went over the uh, so the breakouts. Facilities, um... Oh yes, just in terms of drinks and uh, 
Uh, restrooms are in the back there. When you go to the breakout sessions, um, if you're joining the ONI or, or ONL sessions, uh, there are facilities as well there. Um, to go back and forth between this main area and those breakout rooms, uh, you will need a flex escort, but there will be uh, flex uh, uh, employees there who can do that um, for the whole day they're assigned. So with that, we're going to go through the rest of this morning. That is around um, the, uh, the overviews. So the purpose of today and, and some of the project leads, we were, we were talking about what, what should the workshop be like uh, today. And what we, what we narrowed in on was giving folks new hope, you know, uh, new to the community or maybe new to, maybe you've been working in one sub-project like ONI and you wanted to learn more about ONL uh, or Cysonic, give an overview in the morning of the projects that everyone can, uh, can benefit from. Um, and then after lunch and the tour with Flex, then we'll go into uh, drill down tracks where Good thing I see a lot of laptops because uh, I think the intent is to be a little bit more interactive to actually take a look at how you might deal with some of the code and look at code um, in the in the afternoons for the the software projects so with that I think we'll we'll go ahead and move on to Kurt anything else uh, any questions uh, from folks all right so thank you very much for coming and uh, enjoy the day <laughs>